In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Joel Embiid and how he is essentially unstoppable at the NBA level. So let's get down and let's check him out. In this first clip right here, he's taking a three-point shot and centers are sleeping on him. Now keep in mind that Joel Embiid is a big body, he can generally beast through most players to get to the rim, so I can understand why opposing team centers are slacking off and not really guarding him, but at the same time he does have a three-point shot that is somewhat consistent and he needs to be starting to get guarded out on the three-point line. This next clip we can really learn a lot from him, he gets this offensive board, he's automatically looking over his shoulder looking at what the defense and what his teammates are doing. He does not dribble the ball, he goes straight up into that shot. He also, there's a few other things that he does. Number one is what I just mentioned, he does not dribble the ball. So many players will take that dribble, it gets that ball too low and multiple players will try to swipe that ball from him. But also watch the arm of that defender, it's slightly down. Which means that he's trying to block Joel Embiid's shot. Joel Embiid goes into that arm elbow first so that he can go up and clear that arm but also potentially get that and one call. Also coming off this roll, James Harden attacks that hedge man really hard which then leaves the open gap, the open lane for Joel Embiid to roll hard to the rim. As soon as he gets that ball, he does not take a dribble there. What he does is he takes two big steps towards the rim, keeping that ball somewhat high up towards his chin and then he's able to finish at that rim. If he was to take a dribble here like some younger players would, these two players would have been able to swipe that ball and he would have never had the chance to get to that rim. In this next clip, what we see right here is extremely important. This player is going one on one, everyone else is behind the play, and Joel Embiid, instead of being what some younger centers do in today's game, I mean like at the youth level, is they'll just start slowing down and say, well, this guy's gonna score anyways. Well, this guy did not score, he got blocked. And because Joel Embiid ran the floor, he is now in position to get that offensive board and that layup. If he did not run all the way down court, if he gave up, this man right there would have been able to get that defensive rebound and they would have been going back the other way, five on four, because Maxi's out of position. Here Joel Embiid gets that ball in the high post. He's being a threat because he's got his shoulders pointed towards the rim. Even though he's got that ball low, it doesn't matter at this point because he's got peripheral vision to see what the defense is doing. Also because he's keeping his head up, he's keeping these two defenders honest and he's keeping this main defender back. He then takes one dribble towards that rim and goes in for a jump stop. This is called a power move or just bully ball because now he knows obviously that this defender is not going to be able to guard him. He's not big or strong enough to do that. He then goes straight up, two hands on the ball, gets that foul call, and gets that and one. Again, by getting that shoulder into the chest, but not getting that shoulder past your leg or your knee or your foot, allows you not to get that offensive charge. And then when you go into his chest, right, rise up, that will get him onto his heels, jump stop, get both hands on that ball, and then, of course, go up very strong and get that and one. Again here he is pushing that ball down court. He's in transition trying to get that ball to the lead man. By getting that ball to the lead man, that draws that defender towards the ball handler. That ball handler was smart, he cut in front, which then removes that defender as well, so that he can hand it off to Joel Embiid for that layup. Joel Embiid also knows how to play positions. Here he's underneath the basket, he doesn't just go up with the shot. He clears out space, one hard dribble jump stop, now he's in a better spot than where he was here. Here he's behind the backboard and a lot of young players will try to reach up with the jump. By taking a power dribble, two hands, getting that shoulder into the chest of that defender, moves him back, doing a quick jump stop landing on both feet will allow him now to be able to position himself for that layup. And then he's also really good at run using a short roll, coming off that screen, going to the high post, and when the defender goes over top, his man hedges too hard, he's going to be open for that mid-range. And if he's able to get that ball and rise up quickly into a shot, he's going to be continuously a very hard player to guard, especially in the playoffs. The playoffs, 
this area of the court is the is one of the most important and he's going to be able to get himself a lot of points and be very useful in those playoffs and here he uses patience he attacks his man this guy is not playing great defense he's not very low and he's on his heels and he just tries to i guess try to push joel and beat out of the way there's really not much you can do against this guy unless you're very strong but joel and beat is very patient he takes that jump stop and shot fake that removes that defender from the situation. He pivots around and he's able to go for that shot and he's able to make it. If he decided to go up here, this defender potentially could have blocked it or Kawhi Leonard could have blocked it as well. But because he was patient, got these guys on their heels, pivoted around, he was able to get that shot off. He's also got quick enough feet to be able to stay with defenders. Now, there's a strategy that he uses here that's pretty good. First off, usually when you run alongside a player, you want your shoulders to be as square as possible towards him. However, Joel Embiid has massive height on this player. And because of that, he's able to basically run or run along the hip of that player. Even if that player was to snatch back, Joel Embiid would have still been with him. So he goes up for that layup and he then gets blocked. So Joel Embiid by running the hip and running alongside because of his height advantage allows him to get that block. If they were the same height, they he would have not had that same opportunity. So if you've got a height advantage and you get beat as long as you stay along that player's hips you generally do okay as long as you can go straight up and block that shot I hope that this video helps you become more dominant in basketball if it does hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time